Welcome back to K24 Alpha G. It's now time to get bold and beautiful. And as I mentioned earlier, today we're going to be talking about skincare for men. Joining me in this conversation is Dominic Ndamboki from Linton's Beauty World. Karibu sana to K24 Alpha G. Very Thank nice to for, have you. Thank you very much. You are a skincare expert and a consultant on matters skincare. Yes. And I'm so happy because we, we're getting to talk about um, skincare for men because most men kind of think that, you know what, it's a lady's job, you know, to go to the spa, to mm -hmm. get facials, to take care of the skin. Men are not supposed to be doing these kind of things. Do you agree with that? Uh, men should be uh, engaged with these things because, for instance, mm. men have kind of perception mm -hmm. that this thing is a lady's thing. Yes. But it is very good enough to take care of your skin as a man. Yes. One, because there are importance of skin care. Yes. And it's part of it is hydration. Yeah. But we tend to say man is a uh, recuperara. Mm-hmm. Manome recuperara. This is the notion, which is not yeah. helping anyone. Yeah. Do you know what? Uh, men, male skin is the thickest skin compared to lady skin. Okay. And this is because of uh, uh, the, the, the hormones of a man. Mm -hmm. We are totally different from mm -hmm. ladies. Mm -hmm. And you find that a skin of a man um, is oilier than a lady's one because mm -hmm. Thanks to the hydrogen uh, hormones mm -hmm. in a man, mm -hmm. uh, it, you tend to excrete more uh, sebum. Mm -hmm. The sebaceous, sebaceous glands of a man mm -hmm. uh, produce more uh, uh, oil mm -hmm. or sebum. Mm -hmm. And you see, this is accumulation of da uh, uh, dust. Mm -hmm. The, the uh, sebum attracts dust yes. to the man, uh, man's skin. Mm -hmm. And you find again, uh, there is also the um, external damage. Which is sun, mm -hmm. which is dust, mm -hmm. which uh, we say it's free, harmful free radicals. Mm -hmm. They come to your skin. Mm -hmm. So a man needs to take care of our skin mm -hmm. or his skin. Mm -hmm. One, you have a good cleanser that will cleanse the beauties, okay. the dust on your skin. Yes the dirt on your skin, yeah. then you need to moisturize. Yeah, and even before we go to the moisturizer, I think people just need to understand that a cleanser is not your soap, right? It yes. is not your regular bath soap that you use to take a shower. Absolutely, <laughs> people are getting it wrong here. Yes. And this is where men go. They mm. take um, just a bath soap, yeah. just a normal bath soap. Yeah. But you need a, a cleanser which balances the skin pH, mm. which also gives you, after you wash your face, you can feel better. Mm -hmm. How do you feel as a man when you wash your face mm -hmm. after two minutes? Mm -hmm. Is it dry? Mm -hmm. Do you parara now? Mm -hmm. So you need a very good uh, uh, cleanser. Mm -hmm. It might be bar soap, mm -hmm. but well, a good, a good uh, a gel product. It has to be medicated. Yes, it has yes. to be medicated. Yes. Or a gel. Mm -hmm. And again, we have different skin types. Mm -hmm. For a man, it's not like a lady. Mm -hmm. Where the ladies have uh, dry combination skin, mm -hmm. combination skin, uh, mm -hmm. sensitive skin. Mm -hmm. Men tend to have oily skin mm -hmm. or dry skin. Mm -hmm. So you go for a cleanser, which is of your skin type. Mm -hmm. For instance, majority of the men, as, I swear, as we said, mm -hmm. they are oil. But you see, because of uh, alcohol, people take alcohol, mm -hmm. people smoke, mm -hmm. and those are the, what are the uh, contributing factors yes. for a man to mm -hmm. have a unhealthy skin. Okay. So you find the skin is drying, yeah. so you need a cleanser, mm -hmm. which is a bit giving you more uh, hydration to yes. your skin as you cleanse yes. your face. Yes. So the next step will be now the moisturizer. Mm -hmm. Again, the moisturizer mm -hmm. will be a moisturizer that goes together with your skin type. Mm -hmm. It has to be, and most of the uh, um, uh, male moisturizer, you find them, they are written like balm or okay. lotion. Yes, yes, they don't yes. go like cream. Yes, no, no. Yes, you, yes. you don't find them on okay. the counters. So in this case, a moisturizer is very different from a regular lotion. Yes. So the, okay. mm -hmm. the, this moisturizer has to be target your concern as mm -hmm. a man. What's mm -hmm. the concern? Is it hydration? Your skin is dehydrated. Mm -hmm. You need to hydrate. Mm -hmm. Is it about age prevention? Mm -hmm. Because you find again, okay, men's skin doesn't age very fast, mm -hmm. like uh, mm -hmm. our, our mm -hmm. counterpart. Mm -hmm. uh, but you need, a, 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 as, as time goes, there is chronological uh, uh, aging, that is mm -hmm. natural aging, mm -hmm. and fourth aging, which mm -hmm. is again brought by mm -hmm. environmental damage. Mm -hmm. So you need also to control that. Mm -hmm. And you need a moisturizer mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. works on age prevention. Yeah. Remember again, if the skin, we have three layers of the skin. Absolutely. There is epidermis, there is dermis, and, and epidermis. Yes. So these three uh, uh, layers of the skin, mm -hmm. you find that for a man, the epidermis and dermis is thicker. Mm -hmm. If it is thicker, the collagen and the elastin mm -hmm. is also thicker, mm -hmm. and the man will not age very fast. Mm -hmm. So, remember, a time will come to age now. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. You need a moisturizer. That works on the mm -hmm. stimulates the collagen yeah. and elastin. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think now that's the thing because uh, as you have said, men do not age as quick as women do. Yes. So um, even even by the fact that they do not go the extra mile, you know, to make sure that they have the cleansers or yeah. the moisturizers, yeah. their skin is still okay. Yes, but now let's talk about uh, exfoliating. Yes. Are men supposed to exfoliate? Men have to exfoliate. You know why? Mm. Because again, there is the cell turnover, the period whereby uh, uh, cells are, are, are renewed, mm -hmm. and you find it takes to, uh, to nine days. Mm -hmm. For a cell to, to, to migrate from, this, uh, from the dermis to the epidermis, mm -hmm. it takes 10, t 10 days for All a right. cell to come there. Mm -hmm. So it would be take to nine days. So mm -hmm. you find that men's skin tend to be dull. Why? There is accumulation of mm -hmm. dead cells. Mm -hmm. So you need to exfoliate. Mm -hmm. And it's either twice mm -hmm. or once a week. Okay. Imagine it will not take a man uh, a, a lot of time yeah. to do that. Yeah. Like a, a man will say it will take me, these things are too many or mm -hmm. blah, blah. Mm -hmm. You need only to exfoliate once, once or twice. A week. And you can do it at home because I at know home. most of them shy away from going to the spa Absolutely. because they think, okay, Absolutely. come on. I don't want someone to, to see me <laughs> in a salon or in a spa. Okay, so is that the reason why, like, sometimes you will look at a person, especially men, and see they, they have white... White heads. Yes. Yes, because they don't, uh, they don't exfoliate. And even they don't remember okay. whether that's important. But okay. I, today I want to encourage any man outside there mm -hmm. that it's very much important mm -hmm. to, be, to look healthy, mm -hmm. your skin to look healthy. Mm -hmm. It will cost you zero because it's only when you are, it's just five minutes, mm. cleanse, mm -hmm. exfoliate, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. apply, apply a, a moisturizer, mm -hmm. and that's it. Okay. That's it. Yeah. And I think also that people do not understand that men also face skin care challenges. So maybe you can just take us through some of the challenges that men do face when it comes to skin care. Uh, of one, they don't have the information. That mm -hmm. is one. Mm -hmm. That it's important to use any skin mm -hmm. care. Again, there are myths that, mm -hmm. again, if you use moisturizer as mm -hmm. a man, that this thing is for the lady. Mm -hmm. There is also whereby there is a fear. Mm -hmm. You might react with certain products. Mm -hmm. You get rash, mm -hmm. you get breakouts. And you get, remember that the skin of a man is prone to acne. So if you find that... Oh, it's more prone to acne yeah, than Because the it's oilier. Most okay, of the right, treat okay. male skin are oily. Right. And if you get acne as a man, mm -hmm. you find it takes too long to treat it. Mm -hmm. Because there is a lot of mm -hmm. accumulation of mm -hmm. sebum. Mm -hmm. So that's tends to scare away men. Mm -hmm. But today I want to tell them, you visit a consultant, mm -hmm. a beauty advisor, mm -hmm. will take you through. If you visit one of those areas, you pop in a, uh, in a, in a, in a spa, you pop in, yeah. in, a, in, a, in a good mm -hmm. uh, uh, beauty shop, mm -hmm. you'll be consulted on, depending on the skin history. Give the history to that person okay. who is consulting you, mm -hmm. and he'll advise you mm -hmm. to give the best of the skincare okay. that will not react to, to you, mm -hmm. but we, we tend to, uh, there is there is um, uh, we have to give this information. That's yes. transitional period, yes. the period whereby skin has to adapt to the product, mm -hmm. and you might mm -hmm. experience some rash yes. as a man. Yes. You might experience some kind of barb, mm -hmm. and that's normal. It okay. will it will it 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 it's the moment the product uh, adapts to the skin. Yeah. Everything works. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so apart from acne, the other most common uh, skincare challenge with men is the bump. Yeah, the bump. How do you control mm. that? How do you get rid of that? How are you supposed to shave? What are you supposed to use after shaving? Okay. For a man to, uh, for example, those are uh, 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 air on, mm. on their face, mm -hmm. uh, we have aftershave. Uh, we have a shaving gel. Mm -hmm. But you find some of the cleansers, mm -hmm. they are two in one. Mm -hmm. You apply, then you shave. Mm -hmm. Okay, there is two, two, two different ways or many th means of mm -hmm. shaving. Mm -hmm. There is the razor, mm -hmm. there is also facing the, mm -hmm. the barber. Mm -hmm. So you find that for those who shave in the, in the, in the, in the house, mm -hmm. you apply the gel mm -hmm. or the shaving gel, mm -hmm. then you shave mm -hmm. against, you don't shave against the, mm -hmm. the how the hair has grown. Mm -hmm. Because it oh, will okay. create the barbs. The, okay. Yes. So you're supposed to shave as per how yes. it is growing. It's growing. Okay. But where it is stubborn, now you go against because mm -hmm. you find that it's not coming out. You go against, but gentle, mm -hmm. very gently. Okay. So, uh, and again, you find that barbs, mm -hmm. there is the ingrow of air. Mm -hmm. So you find that it's that thing which is. Mm -hmm. like a pimble or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you need to have someone or you yourself remove it. remove it okay. in a very good way. But there are barbs to treat that. Okay. There are there are barbs to, 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 to treat that. Okay, yeah. all right. And, there, and I guess there are specific products for men yes. that um, 
women cannot use and vice versa, right? Absolutely. Okay, so I want to move over to the other side where Andy and Nicole is, and then, you know, we can just have a look. No, no you, can, you can just sit. Please just Thank sip you. your tea, coffee. So let me just move to the other side of the studio where Andy and Nicole is, and we have Alan Gitao here, who they're going to be taking us this um, very simple, DIY yep. at home. This is what you're meant to do as men when mm. you're home trying to take care of your skin. But before we get there, Alan, how often do you, uh, you know, cleanse your face, go for the facials, uh, exfoliate? Well, well I, until I got to know Andy, I never used to do a lot of moisturizing yes. and facials. Yes. But now I try and moisturize uh, once a day. Okay. Every evening mm -hmm. I wash my face and then I moisturize it. Yes. Uh, and then every month I go for a mini facial. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's why my skin is... It looks fantastic. <laughs> really, really good. And Andy, you have been here before. You are a skincare expert and you know, you are so good at what you do. What are the, some of the most common mistakes that men do when it comes to skincare? They just don't wash their faces and moisturize. <laughs> <laughs> That's the biggest problem they have. Mm -hmm. I wish every man would just take just one, two minutes just to cleanse yes. and moisturize. Okay. Because most products are just either three mm -hmm. or two in men because mm -hmm. we all know how men are busy mm -hmm. and the last time i was here i talked about how men should really really go into that so yes. just cleansing and moisturizing at yes. night is important yes. if you go an extra mile and maybe exfoliate that's yes. a plus to you and that's yes. why you find some men have better looking skin than others absolutely yes. and what about facials are there specific kind of facials that men are supposed to do since we have different skin types Yes, exactly. We have different facials for every type, uh, mm -hmm. skin type. For oily skin, you might find some men who have the bumps after they mm -hmm. go for shaves. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, treatments that correct that. Mm -hmm. We have men who have pigmentation disorders, whereby their forehead is darker than the mm -hmm. cheek area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have um, uh, fading uh, treatments for that so that mm -hmm. they can at least have an even skin tone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we have different. For every skin problem you might, uh, or mm -hmm. skin concern that you have as a man, mm -hmm. we all take care of that. Okay. Yeah. Alan, which is the one uh, skincare challenge that you used to face or you still do face up to now? Well, it wasn't really a challenge, it's just mm -hmm. a misconception mm -hmm. that, you know, um, skin care is for women. Mm -hmm. And you know, a man can be just natural the way he wakes up in the morning, yes. it's, it's still fine. Yes. But you come to understand that, hey, you need to take, of, take care of your skin, mm -hmm. you need to, you know, be responsible a little bit with okay. how you look, yeah. Okay, do you think there are extremes when it comes to taking care of your skin as a man? Like, no, please do not do this. It's a bit too much. <laughs> do we have that? <laughs> you know, well, I don't think so. Okay. As, as long as you, you know what you're doing, as mm -hmm. long as you're using the right product for mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. then, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so, so let's get to eat so that we can actually understand how um, men are supposed to cleanse their face, mm -hmm. take care of their face, what to apply, what not to do. Yeah. Andy, you can just take us through that now. Yeah. Yes. So... What I will do is, like I said, we only have just three or four products. So mm -hmm. I'm going to start with cleansing. Mm -hmm. Since it's morning, I'm just to do. I'm going to do something you, as a man, can do every day when you wake up in the morning. Mm -hmm. When you go to your bed, uh, to the bathroom, mm -hmm. or to the or to the shower, mm -hmm. just make sure you use a cleanser, mm -hmm. which I'm using right now. Mm -hmm. And I started with the forehead, mm -hmm. the cheek area. Mm -hmm. Is there a reason why you had to start with the forehead? Yeah, because it's the largest part of your face. Okay. And it's the one that has the most concern All because right. that's where the sun hits the mm -hmm, most mm -hmm. the first time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so this is just a normal cleanser that yes, even yes, I as a woman can use, right? Yeah, but now okay. this one is for men only. Okay, this is for men yeah, only. Because um, apparently uh, men's skin is a bit tougher than ours. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. So, so the you ingredients have to, are a bit different. Yes. No, just the same, but yeah. you can find the consistency. Concentrated. Yes, it's right. more concentrated than yes. uh, for men. So for women. So mm -hmm. I'm going to use a gauze. Why? Mm -hmm. Because gauze uh, micro-exfoliates the skin. Mm -hmm. So since it's morning, and maybe he, he doesn't have to exfoliate mm -hmm. uh, this many times in a week, mm -hmm. he can just have a gauze. Mm -hmm. Even the wife can get him that. Mm -hmm. So it's not, it's <laughs> yeah, it's not hard. All right. And it's even easier for him to use a gauze. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then after that, now he can just go to the shower mm -hmm. and just continue washing his face the All way right. he normally does it. Okay. And this you do in the morning. This is the first thing that you do. In the yeah, morning when the you same way you just go to the bathroom mm -hmm. in the morning mm -hmm. and decide to just wash your face mm -hmm. and then your, the rest of your body. Mm -hmm. You just do that in the morning. So okay. the difference is we have different, uh, the, the so one soap is for the body, the mm -hmm. other soap is for your skin. Okay. Yeah, because you know the other soaps are basic and then, like I said, um, we have, our skin is acidic. All right. So there's no way you can put basic stuff on your skin. Okay, so just a quick question. Is this just water, Amma? Yes, warm okay. water. Is this warm water, yeah? And I hope it doesn't sleep. 
Oh. Because I know it feels so good to relax. Yeah, it feels so good. He's fine. He's not complaining. Yes. Now, mm -hmm. since uh, I was having gloves, because not that his skin was really dirty, mm -hmm. just uh, for professional purposes. Yes. When I'm going in with the cleanser, uh, with the moisturizer, yes. I will not. I I won't use uh, the gloves. Okay. Because uh, you need a personal touch with your mm -hmm. client mm -hmm. at this time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go with the Hydro Balance. Mm -hmm. It balances the men's skin. Okay. And then it also controls oil. Okay during the day. Yeah. And when you say balances, what exactly do you mean? Um, he has, a, when, when you were doing the talk with Dominic, yeah. I uh -huh. did a pre-analysis on his skin, yeah. and I realized he has a combination skin. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to use the Hydro Balance because it, as much as it moisturizes, mm -hmm. it also controls the oil mm -hmm. production levels okay. in his skin. And a combination skin is both uh, um, dry and oily? No, it necessarily cannot be just dry and oily. Mm -hmm. Combination skin sometimes is um, oily, mm -hmm. at the t okay, it's mostly at the oily at the T-zone, yes. yes, and then over the other okay, areas, it's perfect. either normal, okay. dry, mm -hmm. or a bit more oilier than, a bit less oilier than the other. Okay. So it's just uh, in both of those, both okay. of any, okay. but it cannot be scaly, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. but just maybe normal and then oily at the same okay. time. All right. This seems to be quite the process, you know, you know, when you wake up in the morning and then you have to do all these things, you know, you have to cleanse, you have to uh, moisturize. Yep. It's just a very simple process. Just after you get out mm -hmm. of your, your, the bathroom, mm -hmm. um, after you wash your body, the whole body, mm -hmm. the first thing you start with, of course, is going to be your face. Mm -hmm. And then you start with your moisturizer. Absolutely. Then you continue and you're done. Okay. All right. So that's it? Yeah, that's it. Oh, wow. Very simple. Okay. I thought you were going to use all these products. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. So we have different products, yes. yes. We have the shave balms. Yes. We have uh, the SPF mm -hmm. that now he's supposed to put next mm -hmm. because he's going mm -hmm. out in the sun. Mm -hmm. And after that, that's it. And okay. like I said, it also be depends on how and where you work. Yes. We have men who really are out in the sun. Yes, yes. SPF is a must. Mm -hmm. But when you're out, even when you're here, mm -hmm. you need an SPF of at least 13. Yeah. Do you ever use... Uh, <laughs> SPS. Yes, yes. Uh, but mostly when I'm outside, mm -hmm. uh, like when you visit the Flex and Mombasa and whatnot, you mm -hmm. have to make sure mm -hmm. that your skin is well protected. Mm -hmm. for sure. mm -hmm. yeah. So that's the mistake actually most men uh, do. Yes. Or everybody, like he said, he yes. only uses it when he's going out. Mm -hmm. You always mm -hmm. have to use a sun protection yes. factor every yes. moment because of these lights, yes. the cameras, yes. uh, even your f the phone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everyone oh, has interesting. To use there is LED, there's, there's LED lights everywhere, mm -hmm, yeah? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, that, and there's infrared lights everywhere. Mm -hmm. So you have to really, really sun protect because mm -hmm. these photons really damage our skin. All right, yeah. okay. And some of the other products that you've just mentioned are the ones to control uh, bumps. Yeah. And I really want us to focus on that because I know a lot of men have been actually asking me, how do I get rid of my bumps? Mm -hmm. What am I supposed to do? What, what should I look for when it comes to a skincare product? Mm -hmm. The ingredients, yes. Yeah. Um, Bumps actually mostly uh, occur because of bad shaving, mm -hmm. and uh, also uh, when the razors in the bumps, they uh, they literally micro uh, like micro tear your skin. Mm -hmm. So uh, from that, first of all, you have to treat it mm -hmm. by using um, a moisturizer that uh, really tries to regenerate the skin cells around that mm -hmm. area, mm -hmm. so that uh, when the other cells are being uh, like are being reproduced mm -hmm. or regenerated, mm -hmm. they they end up leveling your skin. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, anti-aging products are very good mm -hmm. on that. Yeah, mm -hmm. so you use products that really fasten your mm -hmm. the t the time and and the life uh, the 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 cell the, the cell turn over mm -hmm. the process whereby your cells just regenerate mm -hmm. so when it turns it faster mm -hmm. then the bumps go low and then all of a sudden you won't even have any bumps okay so i'd advise men when you go to the sh the, the, the shavers just mm -hmm. tell them to really control yeah and really, really use I, I hear there's the numbers in the blades yeah okay so they should there? use the lower numbers yeah, yeah. okay yeah. 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 so that at least it doesn't micro tear their skin okay yeah. so what about the aftershave yeah, aftershaves are also very, very good. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a product, um, I just forget the name, mm -hmm. but it ha what you do is you can use it as both a cleanser and mm -hmm. a, a shave product and then also mm -hmm. an aftershave. Mm -hmm. So you first you place it on your skin, then you shave, mm -hmm. and then you wash your skin, and then you put a moisturizer and then put it on top if you have to. Okay. Yeah, so it so really controls it. Okay, so let's move away from the face and just talk about now your, uh, your skin as a man. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it can be very rough and very scaly. What are they supposed to do or what are they supposed to be using? Um, most actually for, for the time I've done skincare mm -hmm. all, uh, in, uh, in Kenya, mm -hmm. I've realized that uh, men in Kenya have either combination skin mm -hmm. or oily skin. Mm -hmm. 
So when we have products that focus on your, uh, on your, your, your skin type, mm -hmm. make sure you always cleanse. You know what happens in cleansing? Mm -hmm. You remove the dirt, the oil, the sebum, mm -hmm. you know, from within your skin. Mm -hmm. And that is what blocks our pores. Mm -hmm. That's what even causes papules and pustules. Mm -hmm. Papules are those pimples that don't even have a head, mm -hmm. but they're so painful, mm -hmm. painful, big mm -hmm. and pink. Mm -hmm. and then pustules um, are the ones that have the white head in it. So you know men won't even bother picking, poking, poking their face like ladies, mm -hmm. but at least men get the papules faster. Mm -hmm. Because they just that's even what, number one cause of uh, the bumps that we talk about. Because mm -hmm. so after it blocks, it yes. even blocks the hair. Yes, yes, yes. From yes, the root. Yes. And, 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 and that's why cleansing, just a mini cleansing mm -hmm. is the most important thing. And then, of course, after you cleanse your skin, you cannot just leave it as dry as it is. Okay. You have to moisturize. All right. So I'd like to call Dominic to come over to this other side. I'm sure he's now finished with his tea and coffee. But even as we um, wind up, um, what about an even skin tone for men? Because I know for we ladies, we have products that, you know, can even out your skin. Are there skincare products that men are supposed to be using when their skin is uneven. Yeah. Dominic. Yeah, all right. Mm. There are several ranges in the men uh, range. Yes. So if your skin has discoloration or pigmentation, mm -hmm. that is patches, mm -hmm. so there are serums mm -hmm. that control that. There mm -hmm. are creams that control that mm -hmm. to brighten, to give you radiance, mm -hmm. uh, whereby the skin, uh, when you see like Allah, mm -hmm. has even skin because he has been taking care of mm, and, uh, mm, his skin. Mm -hmm. So if you have kind of dark uh, a patch on this part mm -hmm. and dark patch on the cheek, mm -hmm. so you find that there is a cream to work on the skin. Mm -hmm. So yeah, okay. men are safe on that side. Yeah, and add, also to add to that, mm -hmm. we also have toners, yeah? Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm saying, mm -hmm. when a man just mm -hmm. has already <laughs> gotten used to just cleansing and moisturizing, mm -hmm. you can add, after now the exfoliator, you yes. can add a toner because it really helps to mm -hmm. uh, unify your skin immediately. Like within a week, you're going to see Tremendous change in your skin. Okay. Because you, you just swipe it over your skin okay. with the gauze. So make sure your wife buys yeah. that. All right. I look for a toner. Yeah. 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 <laughs> also under the eyes, you mm. see there are puffiness. From yes. Men and and the dark circles yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Real quick, as we wind up, for men who are watching this and they like to turn things around and just start taking care of their skin, what are the must haves as of now? The basics are cleanser, mm -hmm. moisturizer, and sunscreen. Cleanser, and moisturizer, and sunscreen. sunscreen. Okay, thank you very much for coming through. Thank, thank you. you, Nicole. Thank, thank you, so you Alan. Much. Thank you, Dominic, thank for coming you. through. That was very informative. And mm -hmm. we do hope that you learned a thing or two about skincare for men. We shall now take a short commercial break. And then when we come back, it's time to talk matters. Football and the World Cup that was, the finals that were yesterday, do not go anywhere.